Yo guys, before the following video does start and you guys learn exactly what to do, this is what it looks like in game. It's a lot faster in game. So in practice mode, everything is slowed down just a bit, but this is actually what's going to happen when you do the following in game. Hope you enjoy and hope it helps you get some TDs. Enjoy guys what's going on it's savage here and today i'm coming at you with another madden 17 tip video now i did say yesterday that i do want to stop doing all tip videos all the time because like i said i'm an entertainer not a tip creator but i do like to help out as much as i can and i did not see this on youtube yet i didn't see it really anywhere i haven't seen anybody talk about it but last year there was actually a play in the game that i did run a lot uh, you can go view it on my channel actually from my Madden 16 videos if you care that much to show like to see it and stuff But it's actually in this book. It's called Steelers cross. I'm in the Steelers offense right now This is also in the um Bengals playbook and it's called bunch slot cross in the Bengals playbook where if you motioned out the outside receiver and and time the snap he would get a speed boost right off the line and it would be an instant touchdown well, I found something a little bit similar to that if you run verticals, but you just got to, you know, you have to actually have um, a player with specific stats. And what I've seen is you need a receiver that has at least 88 release, 88 um, acceleration, 88 speed, and 88 route running. Um, I tried it with a couple of players, 87, give or take, it still works, but I found 88 and higher in all four of those stats, and you get the best results. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call verticals, and this is really good against a lot of defenses, and this is pretty much, this is like one of those plays that when it works, it's a touchdown, but when it doesn't work, don't try to force anything. I'm going to show you right now what you have to do. So you're going to want to just fade route circle. And it's all about timing. Like I said, you could drag R1 just as a check down. Motion out circle right before they set their feet. Hike the ball and they get a nice boost off the line. A glitchy boost off the line. And that's a touchdown just like that. Now, in Ultimate Team, when you're using even better players, just imagine how well this is going to work for you. We're just doing this in practice mode right now, and just look at it. Right off the line, the cornerback's not even really reacting to it. Another touchdown. That's two right there, back-to-back, -back, very, very simple. All I'm doing is putting him on a fade route, and I'm motioning him out, and you just got to wait right before he sets his feet, hike the ball. He actually got a nice speed boost that time. Corner of the end zone, another touchdown don't be afraid to throw that he's running a fade so his back shoulder is actually facing the safety so the safety's not going to be able to make a move on that just because um he is actually throwing his back shoulder in the way of him as you can see another touchdown for antonio brown that we are now four for four right there i want to see i'm going to do a live lab with martavis bryant because obviously martavis bryant not nearly in good as stats, but he is a very, very big guy. Look at that boost he got right there. And look at Martavis Bryant getting up there. I actually want to review that play because he got a better boost than AB right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I most certainly did. Watch. I'm going to play it in real time. Watch Martavis Bryant. Hike. Boom. Right through the secondary. Just like that. Very, very, very fast release. I'm going to run it with Martavis again just because um I didn't think it was going to be as like that. I didn't think it was going to be as effective because of Martavis's um low route running because I know he does not have the best route running in Madden. But we're going to do that again with Martavis. Look at that. With that beautiful release, you mean to tell me I can just keep abusing that every single time? Now, of course, this is against cover two only. I'm going to show you what um against the cover three now. So now we're in a cover three Mabel on the defense. Um, it's it's just it's the same exact reads pretty much you just want this guy to just take away the right side of the field and it just it, it you just got wide open routes all over the place it's a really really good play and it's a lot of fun to use um because you, especially against your friends your friends are gonna be like bro what, what, how do you get such fast players and stuff and how do you get that release to the point where like none of my players can do anything and it's just it's just how the game is programmed. Um, but to be honest, I'm liking running it with Martavis a little bit more than I am AB, to be honest with you. Um, I think his release, it might be a little bit better than AB. And since he's a little bit bigger, just look at how quick he's off that line. He's already behind the second corner. He's behind the second corner. or he, I mean, he's behind the first corner in like two seconds of the point from when the ball snapped. 
which is which is really really effective as you know but guys this is crazy glitchy you get that back shoulder animation too like i said so you can just aggressive catch that and not have to worry about that safety but look at how fast look at how fast he's just getting right behind that that um second corner Obviously, since Martavius isn't um, a better receiver all around, he's not going to be able to just go up and be able to possession catch and aggressive catch more. Obviously, AB is going to have way higher catching stats. So, um, my personal preference when I'm playing on Mutt, I like to use Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon is one of the best balanced receivers all around when it comes to um, route running. Uh, this is the puzzle piece version. Route running. Um, catch and traffic, spec catch, speed and acceleration. Very, very balanced. I've actually used Herman Moore doing it, and I don't like it with Herman Moore. Even though, yes, Herman Moore is a legend, I do not like using Herman Moore because he's a bit on the slower side. His acceleration's really low, and it's just, it's not my cup of tea because he doesn't get the exact same boost as Martavis and AB are getting, and they're able to get straight behind the second line of the defense and merely me saying, hike, he's already behind there, so I know I can just throw that dot, and I'm not even scared to throw it for the touchdown. But guys, go try this out it's a very glitchy like little adjustment you can make the verticals it's in the Steelers book gum bunch week in the Bengals book gum bunch week just fade route uh, your outside receiver block your running back you can drag your tight end for the check down hike the ball and just watch get behind the defense and bang just like that because you're getting that back shoulder animation so he's gonna go up like this the safety is behind you and the cornerbacks playing low behind you so he's gonna be going up like that touchdown uh, obviously, you don't want to force it if your opponent's using it or if, um, you're, if you're not confident enough in Ultimate Team yet to do it. Don't do it in Ultimate Team. Practice it here. Go buy, find a player. Like I said, I like 88s across the board in those stats. Um, if you can get anything higher, of course, that's a plus. But you really do want to focus on that speed release acceleration combination. Uh, route running is you can give or take 87. Even an 86 won't kill you too bad. But guys, hope this does help you a lot, and uh, if it does, be sure to leave a like below. Also, comment and subscribe if you're new for some other glitchy plays that I do have on the channel. Talk to you guys later. Bye.